<laughs> so again, enough of the naked commercialism. You can go ahead and sh shut off those screens. Because it is now time to bring on our very good friend. He was on the first Joko Cruise Crazy. Most of you will certainly know him from his public radio program. Wait, wait, don't tell me. And about 30 of you know him from running around the, uh, up on deck 12 at 8 this morning. Because you're all idiots. Please welcome to the stage, Peter Sagal. Peter Sagal. It's This American Life. It actually is. Uh, we are going to do for you on this stage a brand new quiz show that we invented. And when uh, Paul asked me what I wanted to call it, I was like, let's call it This American Life. It's a successful name. People like it, and I know it's been used, but we're in international waters. <laughs> Before we get started with that, a couple of things. Um, first of all, I want you all to know, since we're all contractually obligated to mention John Hodgman when we are on this stage, <laughs> that when you see John Hodgman, and I imagine you will a lot, be aware that when I asked him to help me out with something, he said, I don't know, Peter, I really don't want to overextend myself on this cruise. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Second, uh, for the, the brave souls who, uh, and wonderful souls who joined me um, this morning to do the running around, uh, thank you for coming. A couple things. First of all, we are going to go try running tomorrow in Grand Cayman, and as, as, as we said, we'll try to get on the early tenders, find a meeting spot. I will have this announced tonight and put it on Twitter, because now I'm on Twitter. Um, and also, we need a name, because every subculture in Joko, right, has a name. So we need a name for the, the runners, the running monkeys. What? Running monkeys. No, oh, we do better than that. Oh, runners! No fucking way. <laughs> However, I have the symbol, which will be the fez monkey, because this is, and I credit Eve, I think, who did this, who actually ran with an inhaler. So the symbol will be <laughs> a running monkey. <laughs> with an inhaler. Um, there's one other thing. Let me get my folder here. There's, there's something that's been bothering me. Uh, it bothered me a lot. Um, and I, I, I wrote a little something. So before we get started with the game, I hope you guys will, um, will forgive me. I wanted to share with you. Um, you all are nerds. <laughs> This is a nerd cruise, nerd boat, you're proud, you're out, you're happy, you're living rich, full lives, I'm happy for you. But, the other day I heard somebody call themselves a sex nerd. A sex nerd. In my day, if you were having sex, you were not a nerd. <laughs> Nerds, when I was one, growing up, we were pariahs, we were outcasts, we were the kids who ate by themselves at lunch and sat around, sat around alone at recess, muttering over and over, someday you bastards will all be working for us. <laughs> and we muttered it in Elvish. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't be open about our nerdishness. We couldn't just walk around flaunting at a copy of the Silmarillion in our back pocket. Oh yeah, sometimes at night alone we put on our Starfleet jackets and our tight Spock pants. <laughs> Look in the mirror and wonder what could be, but if we could go around in public like that, but we knew what would happen if we did. Some of us tried to pass. <laughs> we studied sports. We learned to laugh like a normal person. Ha 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 ha! Rather than the nerd laugh, which is, that's very amusing. <laughs> we pretended to like TV shows that didn't have spaceships, musicians that weren't Tom Lehrer. <laughs> We slipped copies 
of analog science fiction and fantasy inside the Playboys we stole from our parents. <laughs> but it was no good, it was hopeless. There would come a day where a gym class or a football game, we'd give ourselves away, we would refer to the ball as, a, as an oblate spheroid, or we would crack wise about centrifugal bumble puppy. And the jig was up. We'd go back to our solitary table, our wall fund copies of the Chronicles of Amber. And we dream of another Earth, the true Earth, in which we could be heroes, dangerous and cunning, and perhaps even have sex. <laughs> I remember the day it all changed. It was an all weekend Dungeons and Dragons game in Short Hills, New Jersey. A bunch of jocks from the high school decided as a prank to raid the game, as they had done so many times before, tear up the graph paper and steal those carefully painted lead figurines. But that night, that night the nerds fought back. They threw the polyagonal dies right into the eyes of the attackers, causing some confusions, and stabbed them with the mechanical pencils. There were some sad cases of nerds trying to cast fireball spells onto the blocks. It didn't work, but apparently the waving of the arms did cause some confusion. Nerds from all over suburban New Jersey came and answered to the posting one of the kids put on a BDS using his Osborne personal computer. It became known as the Short Hills Riot, and it was the start of the nerd liberation movement. Came a little too late for me. I made it to college and had forsworn Dungeons and Dragons, and instead of talking about Tolkien and Stephen R. Donaldson, I pretend I had read Herman Hess and Sam Shepard. I dressed in black, and if anybody mentioned Tom Lehrer, I pretended not to know all the words to the Element song. <laughs> then, of course, nerds grew up and took over the world. I remember the day so vividly that my nephew, an athlete, a jock, the kind of kid who would have in my day knocked my school bag from my hands, he said to me, hey, Uncle Peter, I hear you know a lot about Lord of the Rings. I saw the movie and I had a bunch of questions. A tear <laughs> came to my eye. I felt a thousand things. Pride, gratitude, and finally acceptance. I felt as if my time had come. I told him to fuck off, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. That's enough. Sarah, so, so seeing you guys today, it, 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 it being so out, so open, it just blows my mind. I'm excited for you, and let me say, this is true, seeing that some of you are actually girls. <laughs> uh, utterly mind-blowing. And uh, I'm, I'm so happy to be back uh, on the Joko Cruise. I'm uh, really happy. I'm, I'm delighted to, uh, that they forgave me for what I did in Joko 1. Um, a security deposit on a ship like this is pretty big, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just wanted to take this opportunity before we start the game just to stand in front of you all and say in the open, loud and proud, that I, Peter Sagal, am a nerd. Yeah. Not into that Lego stuff though. Those guys are dorks. <laughs> anyway, there. I have to get that off my chest. Thanks again to Sarah Watkins. Thank you.